what's up guys I put here from our lab YouTube channel and today we are starting this new series the hacker rank interview preparation kit okay, I'm so excited because uh, there is 69 challenge that hacker rank have grouped them okay as you can see learning from plus 1000 companies they have carefully curated those challenges to help you prepare in the most comprehensive way possible key concepts challenges are organized around core concepts commonly tested during interviews how to prepare try to solve as many challenges through this list as possible if you are stuck use the discussion and the tutorial sections for the hints and solutions of course you wouldn't need those because we are here to solve them okay I'm excited so let us jump right into it we will start with the warm-up challenges I've solved, you know, I've just found about it and uh, I've solved one problem which is this the soak merchant we will see how we can solve it how we could approach it and of course as always we are using the python language so let me check if the, uh, okay, the solution is here, let's just reset reset the code, you know, let it I'll explain it as we can come to it okay, I'll leave the the link to the challenge down below you can read it but long story short we will get a list of numbers okay and we will count how many pairs can we get so for example this list we have uh, okay four tens so we can make two pairs and we have three twenties so we can make one pair and we have 130 and 150 so in total we only have three pairs which is two from the 10 and one from the 20 so we should uh, return three okay three uh, three pairs as you can see here we have 20 20 and we have 10 and 10 that's it okay so let us jump right to the code let me explain it to you we are getting how many items are there and we are getting the array or the list so first I used the set function because using the set function it removes all the duplicates so with the, with the unique numbers uh, list would have only unduplicated numbers so you'd get 10, 20, 30 and 50 and that's it let me show you if I would print let us code, uh, comment this and print Unique, unique nums. You would notice that there is no duplicates. Okay, 10, 20, 50, and 30. That's it. So then, what we would do is create this variable, which is we would uh, like count how many pairs do we have, and then we would loop through the unique numbers which is this list which is the amount of numbers we do have and then after that in the for loop we every time like we would count how many numbers are there from the unique numbers so we have here let's say we have 10 we're gonna say okay how many tens do we have on this list so as we saw we have four and then we substitute subtract it by 2 but not the sum uh, the, don't subtract it like this because if you do this the result would be a float but we want an integer and we want an integer that is uh, that is an integer obviously so when we subtract it by 2 let's say we have uh, f let's say for example if we had 10 uh, 5 tens and we subtract it by 2 it would give us 2 and that's exactly what we want and uh, in this case we have 4 tens and if you subtract it by 2 we would get 2 and then and so we have 2 pairs we would add it to the total of pairs so this would be 2 and then it would go again with a 20 we have 2 20 20s so it would subtract it by 2 so would it equal 1 it would add it to this and we had 2 so it would be 3 so then we would return this integer 
let's do this okay let's write it all the way from scratch okay first we have if we print the array just let me show you I don't know why it takes so long come on okay here we are so we have this list so first we would get the unique numbers using the set function if we would do this we would get only the unique numbers but I want it in list so I put it in the list function and then I store it in unique numbers after that I would loop through this list of unique numbers so now if I would print num let me show you how it would look like we would get 10, 20, 50, 30 which is the numbers we have now we would count how many okay using the count function we can say uh, not num sorry array which is the array we have it would count it's in the for loop so it would count every number we have in the unique numbers list great so uh, if we do this it should give us uh, Two one one uh, two one zero zero. Okay. How can I scroll down? What the heck? I didn't print it. Sorry. Okay. Run the code again. Please. Okay. Good. So we have four, three, uh, sorry, th this is how many numbers do we have. So we have four tens, three, we have four tens, three twenties, one fifty, one thirty. Here they are. Four tens, three twenties, one thirty, one fifty. So now what would we do is subtract this number by two. But if we subtract it by 2 with this uh, sample, it would give us, for example, the 20, it would give us uh, 3 subtracted by 2, it would give us 1.5, and, and I don't want that. So it's subtracted with using the subtraction uh, sample, double subtraction samples, it would remove the, the float, the decimal. Okay, so if I would print this, it should now give us how many pairs do we have of each number okay we have two okay two pairs of tens and one pair of 20 and that's it so now we would store this on a variable which we would call it over here to tell pairs and we would make it equal zero then over here we can say to tell pairs plus equal this pairs right so at the end here if we would print to tell pairs we should get three so let's run the code like I know this iteration is quite slow but I hope it's like helping makes it easier for me to explain so if we go over here we have three which is exactly what we're looking for we just need to change this instead of printing it we want to return to make this function the soft margin to return total pairs let us run the code now it should work just perfect nice let us submit the code amazing okay so here it is almost finished it would work uh, so yeah that's it for this video I hope you liked it you know let me know what you think down below in the comment section and don't forget to press the like if you liked it 
and uh, yeah yep. don't forget to enable the notification bell that's very important because there is this list is just in the beginning and you don't want to miss any coming videos yep uh, that's it and peace out